this is exactly where the catwalk will be happening. In just a little bit, fans have packed the area. They are so excited to get in the stadium, but we got a behind the scenes look a couple days ago. Take a look. Just a few days ago, the stadium, well, it looked totally different. We had a game on Friday night. Uh, they have been working for 72 hours straight to scrub this entire field and repaint for the Citrus Bowl. Uh, we've had all these banners been put up since Friday night, so they're working basically 24-hour days straight. The Florida Citrus sports team says painting the field is the biggest job and the most difficult one that takes detail, precision, 224 gallons of paint, and 15 people. Uh, there's a stencil that's put together when the teams are selected and approved by both teams to make sure we get the proper paint colors to be the appropriate blue for either side. Uh, and then it's just a very meticulous process of edging out all those lines to make sure the lettering is exactly precise. It's a complete flip of the building that takes nearly 100 people to get it done. We've always had two games as long as most of us have been working for Florida Citrus Sports, so that's just part of the nature of you got one down and you move on to the next one without making anybody feel like they're like second fiddle. Now we go to the locker room where chrome helmets with the white UK logo line the wall. And I spy Benny's mouthpiece, all in anticipation of kickoff. But you've got the full white out on Penn State side. You've got all the blue on Kentucky side. So there's going to be uh, quite a few colors going on in the building. We'll have a giant flag on the field at pregame, so you get a little red, white, and blue as well. So it'll be uh, hopefully a Chamber of Commerce day and uh, some memories for a lifetime. All right, since we are so close to